gap junctions. What are gap junctions? Gap junctions are a method of communication between cells in the body. They are like tunnels that can be used to transmit ions, molecules, peptides, or nucleic acids. How do gap junctions form? Each cell forms half of the gap junction. The two halves must match in order for the junction to be formed. This is like if there is a bridge between two cities. The cities being the cells and the bridge being the gap junction. One city would build half of the bridge and the other city would build the other half. Each half of the bridge must match up in order for the bridge to be completed. Now that the two cities are connected, cars can transport people, goods, or deliver messages from one city to the other. What are gap junctions made of? Gap junctions are made of a category of proteins called connexins. In the previous example, these connexins would be the steel rods that make up the bridge. Each cell has six connexins that make up a hemichannel. This would be the half of bridge that each city built. Each hemichannel is specific to another hemichannel that it will connect to. For example, connexin 43 will match with another connexin 43. Here we have our two cells with their connected hemichannels, creating a gap junction. See the molecule being transported from one cell to the other through the gap junction. Why are gap junctions necessary? Gap junctions transport molecules such as RNA. Outside of the cell membrane, there are enzymes that will degrade the RNA. Here we see RNase, an enzyme, breaking down the RNA. A gap junction is needed in order for the molecules to be transported without being degraded. Why are gap junctions necessary? Gap junctions will also channel the molecules. If the molecules were sent outside of the cell for another cell to receive, the chances another cell would pick it up would be much less likely. The membrane of the cell makes it difficult for a molecule to be easily taken in because of the negative charge of the membrane repels the negative charge of the nucleic acid. The strong barrier that the cell membrane creates makes it hard for large particles like RNA to pass through. The gap junction solves this problem. What are gap junctions used for in the body? As stated previously, gap junctions are used for communication between cells in the body. They can be found in tissues that spread action potential, such as the cardiac muscles. By transmitting ions through the gap junctions, the heart can continue beating in a synchronized motion. Gap junctions used for drug delivery. Gap junctions can make drug delivery more efficient. The donor cell is loaded with the drug in this case, the drug is in the form of RNA. The gap junction is used to transmit the drug from one cell to other cells. Without these gap junctions, it would be difficult to directly deliver the drug from one cell to another. Thank you for watching.